What's up, everybody? We're live, we're live, we're live. It's therapy time. Um, Matthias is here, but him and his daughters are going to Barnes & Noble. They will be right back. So, how's everybody doing today? It's Saturday, and the weather is beautiful. It is. <laughs> How you doing, Mandy? Good morning. Oh my goodness. What a day already. Had to go get some blood work this morning. Ugh. Not a fan. I got poked right there. There's the hole. <laughs> but hopefully everybody's doing good today. Not terrible, not terrible. You know, a little off today, just a little, but it's gonna get better. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, labs, yay. <laughs> that's always, that's always a fun thing to do on a Saturday morning. There's more, there's, there's folks here today. Omar what's up? Mary, I understand completely. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. Awesome, man. They're trucking America. What's up? Chris, how you doing, man? Everybody's piling in. Piling in this morning. Jeanette, how you doing? Hey Randy. We got, uh, we got something interesting we're gonna talk about as soon as Matias gets back. So, I don't wanna, I don't wanna start it. D Sparks, I got your box. <laughs> Had me completely, I'm like, what is this? Cause I'm like, yeah, so it's, uh, I'm starting over. I'm starting over, yeah. Uh, no Chick-fil-A yet this morning. Uh, I've already had breakfast this morning, so. Happy birthday, Randy. Happy birthday. 21st, wow. Wow. Mary, I hope you get better soon. Am I gonna bring you some Jello or some pudding? Uh, ooh, the, oh, the Darth Maul. Wait a minute, Ren. I thought you were getting out of Black Series. <laughs> What's up with that? Were you fooling? Were you fooling with us? I don't, uh... Yeah, so, so here's the cool thing. So, I, here's the thing. Uh, it's coming back. I literally just, I had a freaking had a trimming malfunction and I just said you know what I'm just starting over so I get this email that I got something coming from DPS nutrition and I'm like I haven't ordered anything from DPS nutrition what's going on so the box shows up and I'm like what is this I have not ordered anything D sparks put me up I was like yes DPS is awesome. I love DPS. I I order a, any supplements. That's who I go through, hands down, no questions asked. DPS is the place to go. You get good prices, great product, everything they got. Bethany, what's up? Um, and you'll get stuff so much cheaper, so much cheaper. And supplements are not cheap at all. Uh, if I'm in a bind, I'll go to GNC, but no. Right, Josh? Yes. I mean, come on, why not? I mean, come on, let's get sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Gowles? Was that right? It popped up real quick, man. We got some light coming in. Thank you, Randy. I this is this is my therapy, believe it or not. I mean, after you know a 
five day you know work week and dealing with everything from normal day to day plus manager stuff. Um, this is my therapy. Wow, I'm ringing. I don't. I, I don't know. Right? I'm telling you. I don't know what to think about it, Ren. I don't. Because something we're going to talk about, a couple of things we're going to talk about, has to do with Star Wars. <laughs> hey, kid. Nice, Ren. Yes. I can't wait for you to get all your 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 stuff done man because I, I i see great things for you ren i i'm making a prediction right now one day we all are gonna be like that's ren wow we knew him way back when <laughs> hey yard sales nothing wrong with yard sales thanks mary yeah i was uh i was i was trimming up a little bit and uh it, uh, yeah. So I said, you know what? I'm starting over. I got the floor sweeper standing right. He's literally parking right behind me. There he goes. He literally stopped right there. I was like, I want that job. I really, if I ever retire, that's the job I want right there. Because. I can, I can pimp that out. Cord, yes. So I saw on social media yesterday, there was people getting the uh, Ghost and Lewis two-pack at Target for less than 10 bucks. So I'm gonna go over to my Target uh, today and I'm gonna see, number one, see if they got them. Number two, to see if, if there's any luck to that. And it was actually someone in Memphis, Tennessee. So. If you go to Target today and you see the ghost and the Lewis 2 pack, scan it. You never know. I mean, I picked up a worthy cap for less than 10 bucks. So sometimes the, the clearance, it hits it and we luck out. So you gotta try it, right? You gotta try it. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> Random mall. That's the thing, though. Uh, there's there's one employee that works here. He's actually a collector. Um, he's always working when he's here. But you'll hear us talk about him every once in a while. His name's Tim. 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 Uh, but he actually collects as well. So um, if we see him, I'll get him to do a little stick his head in. But he, he's always working. Hello, too bad. Oh, nice. I haven't seen uh, I haven't seen the 80th cap yet. But Tias is back with his lovely daughter, which we do not put on camera. And now, welcome to the show. Good morning, everybody. I was told that I need to grab a random mall employee and have them as a guest on the. Oh my God, that would be hilarious. Well, I said next time we see. Kim will have to get him to stick his head in. Yeah, he can say hello to everybody. So I told him we we're going to talk about two things. They're both Star Wars related. But they're not pop related. No. And they're not. Well, one of them is not. Or both of them aren't, I guess. Well, the two things, one of them you don't know about. Oh. One we already pre-talked about. Okay. So uh, if you haven't seen it yet, Barbie is coming out with some Star Wars Barbie. And I showed them to me this morning. I'm already telling you the Darth Vader Barbie. It's a hundred bucks. That one may come to my collection because she is wicked looking. And it's I looked it up and you could pre-order it from Barnes and Noble already for ninety nine ninety nine. Ninety nine ninety nine. Yep. Did it have a release date? Because I, I forgot this. I saw that you and McGregor back on uh, Obi Wan. Yeah. On the net, on the, oh, the Disney, Disney series. Yes. Yeah. I feel like I'm glowing like an angel. You are an angel to your daughter. Well, yeah, to somebody at least. You know, but they got the uh, Leia. <laughs> Knights of Ren said, "I'm out on the Barbies, dude. I've got a Seriously. Britney Spears Barbie and a 
Michael Jackson Barbie that my wife had brought into the family when we got married. I'm and it's awesome. I'm telling you, once you see it, now the now Bethany was talking about the R2D2 Barbie. That one in the Leia Barbie, but the the Vader. The Vader Barbie, Barbie looks good. I would probably do the R2D2 Barbie just because I like R2D2 and C3PO. Those are probably the best. Like, I don't know, non-human characters yeah. in the movie. Um, so, what did that say? Matthias is holy. I didn't see it. I, but whatever. I'll read it later. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's a it's wicked cool. I think looking. they look good. I think I might have to pick up the, the Darth Vader one for sure. It's I mean to me with the sunglasses. I think it would have the... been cool if they put the Darth mask on her. I wish it was an accessory. Her... Yeah, like the helmet. Yeah, as an that accessory. would be awesome. Uh, that would be awesome. But the whole costume on it, the cloak, everything. Ten inch Kool Aid. Ooh, ten inch Kool Aid. Did you see that? No. Target announced the ten inch Kool Aid. Just what we don't need, more 10 inch pops. Dude. Yeah, Knight is out on the Barbies. He is not doing the Barbies. Darth, Darth Helmet. <laughs> Darth Helmet from Spaceballs. I would so buy that if they made it. I like mean, like if, if GameStop had it. I think somebody should do a custom Darth Helmet. True. Dark Helmet. Speaking of GameStop, you were aware what I, were you aware what I was doing the other day? So GameStop, Two days ago, their website glitched out. They had things on there I for was not for aware. Free. What? For free. What'd you get? I literally had three hundred dollars worth of statues, and I only had twenty six dollars. Did it go through? No. I was like, thanks for the email, <laughs> Greg. But here's the but here's the thing, though. The crazy thing about it is, it happened so quick. I mean, it was early. And one of the guys in our chat was like, hey, man, y'all need to check out GameStop. Their stuff Did anybody get free. their stuff for free? No, GameStop was like. Sorry, but, glitch in the but system. But here's the crazy thing. I mean, they had, I had the Thanos statue, the Ronin statue, the Emma Frost statue. I had, you know, the cap motorcycle? Yeah. I got it for free. I'm literally shopping carting like crazy. Glamma's I, here. Hey, Glamma. Hi, Glamma. Uh, I'm literally ordering stuff like crazy because you I would have too. I would have filled my carts. Well, the thing about it is, it was giving you Think Geek coupons. That's what I was applying to it. Think they had a, a 25, a 15, a 10, I think even a 50. Nice. And I'm like, what is going on? I texted my boy Drew. I'm like, Drew, what is going on, man? You guys running some kind of crazy sale? I need to come by for work. What do you got for free? And he's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, dude, the website. It literally says free that in red. Awesome. So, and he told me, he, he told me straight up, he texted me, he's like, dude, there's no way. Yeah. They, and I'm, they, he, so they canceled all your orders? Canceled every order. But it took them about five hours to get them all canceled. That is hilarious. But here's the kicker. I now have $30 worth of GameStop coupons because they gave me $10 for every order as an inconvenience. So technically, GameStop paid me for your inconvenience to shop yeah that's awesome so uh yeah i like the 10 inch pops too but man they take up a lot of room they do i'm you let me tell you my all man comics is live right now did you see that yeah mm -hmm. on facebook the one the one 10 inch is my favorite right now is the goblin the green goblin yeah i like that one too it's big though i don't like how wide it is because it's not the, i wish all the 10 inch pop boxes were the same size if every one of them was the same, then I wouldn't have too much of an issue with he, it. He looks better in his but box Bulbasaur than Dobby is... does. Dobby could have been in a smaller box. Dobby could have been in a smaller box. At least Green Goblin fits the box. Correct, that is true. <laughs> I mean, you so Have you what? taken him out of the box? No, I have not. He looks good out of the box. But I mean, I the, te the normal size Green Goblin looks oh, great out of the box. Yes. So. But yeah, there's... The day they make a 10 inch chase pop, it's on my Donkey Kong. Well, oh wait, they have a six-inch Broly pop already. And mine's and gonna be here. Mine's gonna be here today. Somebody's message just got deleted. Uh, fourth floor is throwing away brand new bookshelves. Downtown. What? 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 Where's what? that? What? Where do what? you work? Are you here in town? <laughs> yeah, it's Yo J. I did see the DCPI, Chris, but Walmart uses SKUs. Um, I did find it, but I have not yet been able to find a storm 
retro. Oh, the one I got? Yeah. He has one. I hooked him up this morning with a... Oh, I can't tell you. I guess he's going to put it in a video. <laughs> oh, my halo's gone. Look at that. There's 48 people in here and only... Oh, 47 people in here and only 16 likes. Kent Poole, what's up, buddy? Good morning, Kent Poole. I don't know why. Good morning, Kent. I'm just, How are you this morning? I'm just kidding, Lee. You don't. I'm just kidding. Hey, I got him a Hey King Dwight from uh, The Office this morning. Yes. Picked it up from Walmart. I just wanted to see if I could score one, and I did. And I was going to just let it go, but I went and looked at it, and it was perfect. So I picked Office it up chairs, for Greg. too. Where are you? <laughs> are you in Chattanooga? <laughs> no, oh, I have my brace still. So I had started physical therapy last week. I did two days of physical therapy. So not too uh, thrilled yes. about physical He's therapy. In town. Okay, <laughs> Joe J collects. Yo what? J. Oh, Yo J. J. I, it was a Y. Yeah. Looked like a J. Yo J collects. Where downtown? <laughs> I need some shelves for my office. <laughs> I can put all my pops there instead of at home. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Fourth floor, it's gotta be downtown. Well, yeah, I mean, cause the Walden Club building. I'm working on the fastball. Hey, wait a minute, Walden Club, isn't that next to Warehouse Road? No, the Walden Club is down on uh, Chestnut. But there's, oh, I'm, the thinking the Wal is. I'm thinking of Walden Security, yeah. they're right there, Never mind. Are they nice shelves? Take a picture. Yes, the new Nightcrawler is dope. What new Nightcrawler? I actually figured. I haven't seen it. It's awesome. I got one of him too. And I can't look out on my phone because my daughter over here What's has up, it. What's up, Paul? 21st floor Walden Club. 21st floor. The Bank of America building? Yeah, that's the Walden Club. I wonder if those are nice shelves. I should go that's over there. That's on Market Street? No, Chestnut. Chestnut. What's the big bank, what's the big bank building on Walnut? Or Market Street right there? Past Community Pie, the big, where they do the fireman room. Oh, yeah, that's... Um, Isn't that Bank of America? No, Bank of America is on Chestnut, right behind the Tivoli. You know where St. Paul's Cathedral is? Oh, okay, yeah, that yeah, building. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Overall, tallest building yeah. in Chattanooga, yeah. Yes. I need the Marvel Legends Squirrel Girl when it comes out. I've passed up the Nightcrawler every time, and now I can't find it anywhere. That's what happens. I know, but I don't need to spend that money. It happens. I have other things to buy. Yeah. Greg and I were talking about mystery boxes this morning. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing mystery boxes myself. Yeah. Is that in Chattanooga? Oh, what? No. That video I just saw, they oh, were the riding their video? bikes through the tunnel. Squirrel. Squirrel. Uh, does, does Chattanooga have an Elm Street? Prob. I mean, every, every town has a Elm Street. The NECA pinhead, I haven't seen the new one. The old NECA, oh, NECA pinhead no. looks good. Tell me it's not true. Well, I love pinhead. Do you really? Oh, Do you yeah. have the pinhead Funko Pop? No. Mm. I know what Greg might get for Christmas. Remember when I showed you that at Toys R Us, that pinhead statue? Yes, I do. That was a new I, I know. I wish I'd have picked it up. Yeah. Uh, Republic Center building. Yeah, that's the old Bank of America building. Oh, yeah. Okay, Republic. Because uh, Miller is up on the, one of the top floors, Miller Industries, because I went for a job interview there years ago. Oh, I didn't know they had an office downtown. That's Pro my, wrestling that's my biggest Craig. customer. You know that, right? No, I didn't know that. Miller? That's I who I sell that. Ford trucks to. <coughs> nice. Yeah. I learned something. Yeah. Mr. Sinister. Oh, I had that one in my car at GameStop, too, for seven bucks. What? <laughs> Come on. I was, Drew is so funny. He goes, dude, I really hope you get it. And I'm like, dude, this one makes such an awesome video. Super cute squirrel. What? Okay, so I mentioned Squirrel Girl. <laughs> Jeanette's talking about squirrels. What is going on? Squirrel. How's the Teen Titans over there? Good? Uh -oh. oh, mom's calling. Excuse me. <laughs> Speaking of squirrel, I like. Oh, she hung up on mom. <laughs> but this is a little girl. Is <laughs> This is so funny. She, uh, she flipped the phone over and she showed him that his wife was calling and she's like, boom, decline. <laughs> Hanging up on mama. That was awesome. 
uh, Iron Man. Nice. Oh yeah, the Iron. Oh yes, I need to. I need to open. I'm actually going to open it this weekend. I've got the Iron Man and uh, Iron Spider two pack. Going to open that bad boy up this weekend. What else this? I was I was observing. <laughs> Jeanette said she Jeanette said she wrote squirrel wrong. How did you spell it wrong? I have not seen the leak for ECCC. Matthias did. I saw it, and I have been screaming for a speed racer pop for months, and we're getting one. That's the ride I want. Speed racer and X1. It would be awesome. What are you looking at? What is that up there in the corner? It looks like a stuffed animal looking at us. You see it up there? Yeah. But it's a balloon. It's probably a balloon. Squirrel. Squirrel. Yeah, what I have not that? seen the leaks yet. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, have to there's go some good ones in there. Web. There's a toad, and I don't know what the toad is referring to, but we'll learn shortly. These sparks was talking about that. We will. Um, trying to think what else was on there. Mach five pop ride would be awesome. The Mach one, any of the. Any of the mocks would be cool with Speed Racer, but there's a Speed Racer with Trophy. That, that I mean, that one pretty much sucked me in. I was like, okay, I've, I'm done reading because I've been wanting that one for a while. Um, who's got the leaks handy? Tell us what they all are. It's Hawkeye up in the corner. <laughs> Tuesday morning, eight to nine a.m. If you want the show. Okay, okay, I'll uh, I'll uh, hit you up. Wait a minute. I can see my lips moving. Wait a minute. Reading. So I saw. So here's the thing. You'll see it in my video, but I saw something over at Target. The uh, it's a little little micro wrestlers and like looks like a little micro ring. Get out of here. And like you hit a button or something. And they bounce around in there. I don't know. That might be what Paul was talking about. I that's was like, pretty funny. that's pretty wicked. I can't remember what the other pops were. There was a a slew of them. There was about seven or eight on there. Speaking of pops. Yeah see the purge pops i did but i'm not a huge purge i don't like movies like that because what sucks is is our society will one day get to that point and it's i mean it already is i mean people are killing people all the time <laughs> i know people are killing people all the time and it sucks i will admit though when it comes to the look of them compared to the movie it's pretty spot on the dude that, the because see i've got one of those masks has the neon lights. Oh, do you? Oh, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. You'll see it one Tuesday. One Tuesday. <laughs> Once he wears out that Deadpool mask. Wrestling is real people are fake. That is correct, Kent. I agree. 110%. It's all fake. Um, <laughs> Jeanette, somebody Snakes. posted today, I think it was a nerdy dad, posted uh, ECCC leaks for next year, which is in February, because they'll probably, I don't know, they usually produce that stuff about six months early. Um, so I have a feeling that somehow somebody got a sneak peek at the uh, list. Green Troll. Oh yeah, that's right. Troll with green hair. Um, Panda. Yeah, what did that say? I know, I haven't seen this year's New York Comic Con leaks, but there are some rumors um, that there are a couple of um, My Hero Academia um, villains that are going to drop at New York Comic Con. So we'll see what happens. I think okay. Stain is going to drop and somebody else. Can't remember. Thanks, Paul. Well, this is actually, he was talking about the Sock Mystery Minis. But what I saw there was actually like a game. Like a, like it was, a board it was game? over in the, it was, no, what a board game. It was like a, had a wrestling ring and the figures were like. Oh, we'll have to go look. I'm going to have to go back and look at that. Hopefully Marvell. Marvell at NYCC. Mm. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> Leaks Pop Water 2020. That's great. So anybody uh, hunting anything exciting this weekend? Greg, what the hell happened, brother? talking about oh yeah 
It's like a monthly thing now with Greg. He shaves constantly. Well, I had a mishap when I was training. Oh, you did? So, so you went ahead and just took it off. Over. Starting over? Start over. That's cool. Every once in a while, you got to start over. It's That's called humoring. Micromaniacs. Yes. Thank you. The Marilyn Manson pop. Mm -hmm. Oh, my Lord. I saw that. I'm like, nah. That's almost as bad as those nun pops. Those scare the crap I'm actually, out of me. I'm actually going to pick up a nun pop. Oh, my God. Well, Can't no, someone, no some, someone gave me an idea. They commented on video. And I never thought about it, but it's a good idea. So I'm gonna get a nun pop. And I wanna Barrier upside down in your front yard. <laughs> now I'm gonna do some uh, black and white. Sugar Rocky. Yes, that would be awesome. I'm gonna do some black and whites of it. Oh, that'd be cool, I yeah. guess. Yeah. With some blood and stuff. So what they need to make is, I'm gonna say it again. I've said it a thousand times. Ten inch Mount Lady for My Hero Academia. That would be awesome. They need to make a 10 inch of your daughter hanging up on your wife. That was hilarious. That was awesome. She does that all the time. The look on her face when she did it was pure enjoyment. She's a devil. She's not a devil. Sometimes. But the I can't find that reissue of Soundwave either. I'm looking for it. Uh, nice, Chris. Wow, that's cool. Hunting for anything cool. I'm hunting for the. I'm, so I'm all. I went over to Target. You'll see it in the video, but I uh, picked up a Mount cool, Lady, uh, Jeanette pops. from My Hero Academia. Probably uh, one of the best 10-inch characters they could make. I can't wait. I have all the My Hero Academia stuff that's been pre-orderable. Chris um, got a sound wave last night. Chris, did you get it at Walmart? Is a sound wave? Soundwave Transformers. Right, but pop figure, what? It's the filled, it's the <clears throat> figure. It's probably about that big. It has the little cassette that pops out and transforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. So they have a reissue of the so I want to get I, that I one. I want that Megatron with the cape or that How does the missus like you look without the beard? Uh she hadn't noticed yet. <laughs> she she's working her twelve hours last night, so she went to work. She hasn't seen it yet. Oh, she hasn't? Oh, it'll be it'll be back full force before she even gets home. So. Look how quickly his beard grew back. But now I want the Megatron with the that that cape. I haven't seen that one. Really? It's like fifty bucks at Walmart. I haven't I just seen don't that want, one. I just don't want to pay fifty bucks so, for it. Yeah, the G1 Soundwave. So have you been to my Walmart lately? No, I have not. So I might actually go there they've today. cleared like all the shelves out and have emptied all the shelves in the toy section and rearranged some stuff. I don't know if they're shrinking the toy section or if they're about to just get a huge onslaught of crap. Well, I know my Walmart completely flipped everything. Yeah, that's like what mine's doing. Some figures were, now they're on the opposite end. Yep. I mean, it's like crazy. I have the Tamora Shigaraki on order. I also have, I can't even remember what all I have on order. Good morning, Toy Hunter Howard 22. Yep, rearranging the toys. Yo, Jay, you can come to my house and rearrange my pop wall if you want. I did see something. It is overwhelming. At my Target yesterday. What was that? They actually had Star Wars Black Series Battle Droids. Speaking of Star Wars Black Series Battle Droids, Star Wars Gold Luke is going to be a Walmart exclusive. Coming up, Funko Pop? Yeah. I don't know if you saw that. The chrome? No, it's gold. Like, it's a dull gold. <laughs> okay. Luke Skywalker. It's going to be a Walmart exclusive. I do. I will say this. I want to take a look at the Garfield and Odie pop today. The Odie, Odie was one of my favorite uh, characters as a child. I used to read that Sunday comic like it was oh, going I out of style. This, yeah, the Sunday comics. I'm still upset that I... Uh, talking about Star Wars. Talking about Star Wars. What do you got, Kent? Tell us. It is different than the one from Fun Days, but it's gold. So one of the other things about Star Wars that I watched the other day, so I'm a huge uh, Adam Savage fan. Okay. From Myth you remember him from Mythbusters? I do. Well, he's got a YouTube channel called Tested. Okay. And it's an amazing channel. He, cause he built stuff, right? He's a maker. He used to work for Inter International Light and Magic. Yeah, and, I mean, he's done he's, all kinds of movie stuff. He's yeah. like, he's amazing. I agree. So... Uh, they're doing the, uh, they did the first episode of uh, their Knights of Ren cosplay released yesterday on, on his channel. 
and I'm telling you right now, it's awesome. That's that's gonna be a weird. I guess I'll character. have to watch that. So yeah, Harold Green gets all the Star Wars in the Carolinas. That's true. You get all the Marvel Legends, so what's it matter, old Kent? <laughs> Well, Kent does go into Harold's territory every once in a while. I bet you, who cares? <laughs> he lives 35 miles away from my neighborhood, and he's in my Walmart occasionally at 4 o'clock in the morning. Is That's that good mom again? Did no. you just hang up on her? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How many times has she called? <laughs> She's like, How many times has she called? She's like, A lot. I swear, this is priceless right here. The the innocence of a child is amazing. <laughs> but this is gonna be in so much trouble. Uh, yeah, Yak Face, I believe, is where I saw the Barbie thing about Star Wars. Sorry, I can't, I can't help it. Uh, Rocket Pop, nice. Nice. You're, you're gonna be in timeout today. <laughs> oh. Uh, the uh, brick key, the brick case box. Yes, I'm telling you right How now. How much was that thing? They give that to you for free. The uh, there's a hundred and that particular size is about a hundred. Do they have longer bucks. ones or taller ones? Yes. Okay. You can put in, they got they have one fit in there, and it's amazing. If now, it's not for every single thing you've got. No, 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 no. I understand that. That's but, what detox shells are for. But I like those lights that are in the corner. The lights are bright. They yeah, they are so bright. I like those brights. I wish it had a dimmer on it, so you could dim them a little bit. Yeah. Can you put? Uh, you can't. You can't take the bulb out, put a color bulb in. But, but I can, can you see. put? Uh, you could probably put some film over it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like um, a gel. A gel, or well, a gel might melt. I was. Oh, thinking, the LEDs. There's no heat. Oh, there's no heat. Oh, wow. That's awesome. But it is. Uh, I like the detox shells too. I wish those detox shells came with lights in them. Well, you get the lights at Home Depot. Yeah, I know, but I think it'd be cool if they were integrated in the, into the true shelving. But you wouldn't be able to get them for 50 bucks a piece either. Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's what, I, that's what I'm going to do since I redo my whole my, my room. Detox? Yeah, come on. I think I'm going to start boxing all my pops up, selling them. I've got about 135 chases. You guys want to do some uh, mystery boxes? He ain't selling nothing. I am. He's been saying that for five years. Just wait, five years? I haven't even been collecting for five years. I've only been collecting for three. Let's, uh, we need to do the pop swap too. Right, well, you're, you're gonna be at the uh, Carpet City Con. I'll be at Carpet City Con, and I'll probably put a booth with a bunch of pops up for sale. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know what kind of people are gonna be there, what all pops I need to bring, what lines. I honestly, I just say I'm gonna build a website. I'm bored. Just do a buy sell trade. You Great know, cook video collection. We could put that on DVD, Ken Pool. You know that's the one thing we don't have locally. What? You know we got the Chattanooga peg warmers. Yeah. We got the pop collectors. Yeah. We got the uh, one begins with a D. I don't know. Probably not a member of that one. But we don't have a Chattanooga buy sell trade. Is there not a Chattanooga buy sell trade, Funko? I've not seen it. That's what I think, feel like all the other ones are for anyway. I think that's what you ought to do. Make that first. Maybe I should. It's Facebook's free. I hate Facebook. It's free. It is free, but so I can make a website. That's free too. I just have to buy a domain name. Eight dollars. That's nothing. Eight dollars a year. Then you use Wick. Wick. <laughs> <laughs> uh Ren, well, you need to make one. Make one. You can call it. Uh, oh, you're in Clinton. That's just right up there in the Knoxville area. Yeah. Are you going to Bubba Fest? The comic guy that I wanted to go see is not on the list anymore, and Bubba Fest is too afraid to let me know that he's canceled because I've emailed them twice, 
and they have yet to respond. I've actually been looking at their exhibitor list. Yeah. Um, Plastic Empire is going to be there. I know they're going to be there. Uh, Tall Man is going to be there. Um, I'm not. I'm not seeing a lot of exhibitors on the list. Are you going? You're not going. No, I'm, I'm probably going to go. Well, if you go, let me know because I'm going to be at camp. Yeah, because you wanted to sneak away from camp. I'm going there. to. She said I could sneak away uh, Saturday morning. Okay. So I'll just drive up. Well, I'm maybe. Say you can meet me at exit 20. Where's yeah, but I got to get back. Uh, Coey. What time you got to get back? By noonish. I was just going to go for an hour or two. I was going to get my autographs and skate. Ah. I probably won't be up for more than a couple of hours. I know, but your video making skills, you might want to go hunt at Tallman and the other locations. Tallman's going to be there, though. This store's still going to be open. Well, true. Yeah. That's true. You can probably go in there and hoodwink one of his employees into giving you a good deal on something you need. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither. Uh... Ooh, you have a con? What con do you have? Nice. Has mom called back? Okay. <laughs> okay. She already knows how to like scroll up to ignore texts that come in as well. Kids and technology these days. Mind boggling. That's a priceless picture right there. Oh yeah, 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 I know. Out of control. She she's got him wrapped around. I tried to leave her at home this morning, but she woke up at 6.30 with me, so. <laughs> Kent. And Kent is hilarious. He is hilarious. Well, when we went to... Uh, Ooh, the Philippines. That's pretty awesome. That much love from the Philippines. Nice. He should have been hooking us up with uh, Jollibee and the Barong. Ooh. Glow in the darks. That's what I need. I, I just want one Jollibee. Kids are like sponges. They are like sponges, and this one is like a devil sponge. So it's totally cool. Love her to death. I'm telling you right now, first time I ever really got to meet her, she was sorting. Ooh, uh, nice. I'm going to have to look at that. What? Uh, I forgot. Somebody has tickets for... Foxy. Foxy, yeah. for real, has yeah. tickets for Bubba Fest. Yeah, he's got, a, score one of he's got a media too. pass for it, and they gave us some tickets to give away. Nice. Man, he has enough followers for a media pass? Well, he's local in that area, so oh, I would yeah, expect, that's true. you know. We're local. No, that's that's Foxy's neck. That's, that's, that's Foxy's his world. Back, that's, that's his, his backyard. backyard. Foxy's a man. Because I think if you look at their website, you had to, like, have 30,000 followers. You have followers. to have 30,000 followers. I looked yesterday, too. Because I also looked, I tried to find out how much a table would be for, like, next year. Yeah. If I wanted to go up there and sell some stuff. But who knows? Hey, Chuck Norris is going to be there. Oh, I know that, Jeanette. My daughter is my daughter. The, trust me. The cool thing she about is me incarnate. But the cool thing about her was the the first time I really ever got to meet her, she's literally Toys R Us sorting pops and looking for chases. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. If it was not arranged properly, she would reorganize the. Show. She was good at it. Because I would keep them straight. When I would go in the store, I hated going to Toys R Us, and it would be in shambles. The employees didn't care. The other collectors didn't care. They would just toss stuff around. I think me and you are the only two that really... So I would clean the shelves up. And then Greg tells me that NECA pays... Well, doesn't pay people. But NECA implores people to uh, do that and rewards them with discounts and giveaways. I've yet to win one. Well, I've yet to be become part of that group. I keep sending them an email going, Oh, this target over here is atrocious. It's atrocious. I'm like, who takes care of this thing? So, that ambassador needs to be fired. They did. You're definitely fired. fired. Hire me. Yeah, Toys R Us was always a mess. I miss and I would, it I would literally organize the shelves, and so she picked that up, and she started organizing the shelves when we were there. She would help me find certain characters. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you She's know, it was good. fun. And he never had to bend over. Yeah, I never had to. She would just pick him up and hand him. She took care of like the bottom, bottom three, two shelves. Or three shelves. And like, mm -hmm. she used to see me lay on the floor and organize and straighten everything <laughs> out. Because I just don't understand why you would keep it in shambles. No. I know somebody's going to come along and mess it up, but come back over and clean it up, you know? Yeah. Well, the cool thing about her was, is she would, <clears throat> she'd pull them all out on the floor. 
and then organize them on the floor and then put them back in. Yeah. Chronologically, the way they should be. Based yeah, she on, would try to put characters together. She's, she's pretty good at she it. She was good at it, real good at she it. She helps me at home. She's a pretty good little kid. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, Crack that cookie. <laughs> she's watching Teen Titans. Probably not appropriate for her it's, age. It's amazing, Mandy. I mean, it's. Uh, yeah, I mean, you go into some of the stores, and, and, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, I sort of fault us. <laughs> I can't. I made Ryan get everything on the market so for me. That's I, great. I, I blame collectors a lot. I do, too. Because I think they go in, and they're so heck bent on finding that Money thing. maker. Because that's all. They're really they, not they collectors. Just they're just through. the ones that are trying to find something to sell, in my opinion. Hot Wheels collectors are horrible. You go to the Hot Wheels section. And instead of everything being up on the pegs like it should be, they have the car strewn about on the bottom row. And I'm like, I pick them up and I hang them up. Yep. You go in the bins and they throw other toys in the bins. They, you know, close. They put whatever they can in there to mark their territory, essentially. And it's but you guys in the Hot Wheels world have a secret coat or a secret thing. Yeah, they too. put toys in there so you know somebody's been in there. But I don't think that's necessary. It's kind of fun to go through it. I don't care if somebody's already been through it. I like to look at all the stuff that's in there. Yeah. I, th I don't know. I thought it's, that was pretty cool when you told me that, yeah, though. It's that just they frustrating. Had a... And I don't know if it's local or if it happens everywhere, but there's always a, a toy, like a a ball or a box Bushy or, or something, something in there to show you that somebody's already been through it. <laughs> They're not a collector. So I miss that. The, um, did you get the Walgreens pops that hit this week? I've not seen them in store, and I've not seen them okay. available online. I haven't seen yet. them in store. They were available online apparently this week. You just had to, on your iPhone, you could hold down the character, and a little screen would come up on the bottom that said "Add to Cart," and you could add to cart. Oh, I didn't know that. And it was sold out by the time I found out. So I, I want them though. Yeah, the I thought the Lester with the light bulb was supposed to glow in the dark. I did too. It's, no, everybody that's gotten theirs, it doesn't glow in the dark. Because what is it, Dracula? Dracula and Fester. Fester, yeah. Yeah. Because I know the only one showing on Pop Finder is Dracula. Oh, really? It's the only one showing on Pop Finder. And nobody around here has it. I've already checked. Yeah. There was, there's been a lot of discussion about that on the old social media about ours. They you had don't a fix the pegs. You're not a collector. I agree, Kent. That is very true. Um, and if you don't hide stuff for your friends, you're not a collector either. <laughs> I've done that before. <laughs> Hey, at Toys R Us, I knew every employee hiding spot. I'm very proud to say that I <laughs> caught them hiding stuff, but I didn't let them know that I was watching them, and I would go back and get their stuff. Hey, I I'm, found some good stuff that way. I miss Toys R Us. I miss it. Emma Frost in Canada. The Emma Frost Walgreens Marvel Legends. That's been out for a while, though, hasn't it? I, don't, I ain't seen it in our area. But don't you miss Toys R Us? I miss it like nobody's business. This morning when my daughter woke up, she said, Dad, let's go eat at Waffle House. That's what we always do on Saturdays if she doesn't come with me. But that's what we used to do. And then we'd go straight to Toys R Us. And she said when we were at Waffle House this morning, are we going to go to Toys R Us? And I was like, no, it's closed. She goes, oh, I wish it was open. She misses it just as much as I do. So It was fun. It was awesome. I mean, that was a... We I need mean, a toy store like that. Well, the crazy thing about it was, is the hour we're spending But only here, in certain cities, Toy Hunter. Um, was basically the hour we spent over at Toys R Us. Yeah, because they opened at 9 o'clock. Yeah, and we'd be over there to at least 10. Oh, easily. 10 9, 30. 9.30? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, it was awesome. Well, you would you would bail quicker than some of us would some days because... Because I would try to go to Barnes & Noble because I knew yeah. they were open. And I knew that they would have a cart out. For the longest time, nobody knew about the cart. Nope. The cart was my secret for a while. The cart's been dry lately. There is no cart exactly. anymore. Exactly. <laughs> they moved all the pops into the CD section, so it makes me wonder. There's nothing though. up front anymore either. Oh, they took all the exclusives I now. Today, yeah. Well, it's about time they've been up there for a year. Elton Payne, KB, A &B. KB Toys was horrendous. That, it was you still talk fun, about something though. that was never cleaned up. KB Toys, they never cleaned up. Pops are we talking about? <laughs> Probably the, uh, hey, a UPS man with a box. How cool would it be to have a UPS delivery here? Oh my God, that would be so funny <laughs> on a Saturday morning. We're just sitting here and the UPS guy walks up with a big giant box. 
Uh, so here's my Toys R Us experience. Um, he's walking this way. He's coming to me. So my first Toys R Us pop experience, I had just kind of started hey, picking up a few pops here and there. Um, I had maybe 10, maybe 15 in my collection. And I went on lunch break to the Toys R Us like on a random Tuesday or Wednesday when I knew they got a truck because I knew the I knew the truck schedule because of my Hot Wheels friends and um, I walked into the pop section and I found a John Wick chase and literally that was like my first chase I found in the wild and I was hooked from oh, yeah. that moment on I went from one chase to now I have like 135 chases and over 90 plus percent have been found in the wild and that John Wick chase is one of my oh, all-time favorites. My, I love my job. I've nice. actually had two, and I traded for with a guy in Dalton, Georgia, for some other stuff. So, well, the thing that used to get me was because we had um, was it Abraham, uh, the older black guy that was retired. What was his name? He had a, sort of a biblical name. Which one? He was the taller, taller. He was always at Toys R Us, but he was retired. Was he the guy that collects Hot Wheels? Yes. Yeah, I think his name's Abraham. And what was funny is there was two guys. There was the, the shorter, older white guy, and then the black guy. And the shorter. Both of them were retired. Yep. And literally seven days a week they were hunting. If you remember. Oh, they were there every. They were there every time I was there. Every it was, time. It was crazy. They. Uh, <laughs> she actually answered the phone this time. <laughs> good. We're doing good, Josh. We're hanging out. We're uh, enjoying Matthias's daughter hanging up on his mom, on a, her mom. But she finally decided that uh, the uh, phone call was more important than the video she was watching. Nice, Mandy. What was it? <laughs> She's like, do you have an eye on her? No, just... <laughs> if you're watching, no, I don't have an eye on her. She's just running around the mall all by herself. <laughs> look at that look. Wow. I know. Hey, at least she answered the phone this time. She did. Uh, that Joker. Joker from Persona 5. I want to get that chase. That's one that's, I don't that's have. The one, that was her first chase she found. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. I'd love to have that chase. That's my son's favorite character from Persona 5. Uh, yeah. Pops, yeah. It only takes one. It does only take one because Greg, for the longest time, was not even looking at Pops. But we no. ran into each other. We talked. And we were like, man, you really should buy these. And he said, no, I don't want to fall down that rabbit hole. And he's already in. Jeez. Yep. I don't what even were have you a... collecting back then? Marvel Legends? Marvel Black Legends, Series? Black Series, NECA. Oh, yeah, that's he what was, I was picking up the NECA stuff, That's what too. I was photographing, really, yep. you know, back then. Because Did you, you ever get those on. big Teenage Mutant scale? Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtles? Scale? Yeah. No, no. Those things are awesome. I do have the quarter scale Kratos, which is awesome. Oh, you awesome. do? Oh, yeah. He's awesome. That's cool. Oh, by the way, GameStop, I had his axe in my car, too. They had it for... Uh, I think seven bucks. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, the, um, but I, I have, I have a, the office chase pop. I do have the Kratos core scale NECA. I've got a Deadpool NECA core scale. And I've got the... The quarter scales are huge, dude. Oh, they're, they're mad. And I got the Deadpool X-Force core scale. Neither one of those have came out of box yet. The only one I took out of box is Kratos. How big is that Deadpool? Really? Oh, they're huge. They're Man. about as tall as, as her. No. <laughs> yeah. That's Seriously. Crazy. They're literally, look, they're like this tall. How much was that thing? Those used to go for about 100 bucks. Ruben, what's up? 28 likes. Come on, people. There's 58 of you. 59 of you in here. <laughs> There's only 28 <laughs> likes. I'd like to see that thumbs up go up one to 100 quickly. Well, how's it going to go to 100? Well, I don't know. Look, 32, baby. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is 24, 26. Yeah, two feet. Man, that's pretty awesome. 
Oh yeah, the death nuts. I saw that girl got the death nuts. Yep. Hey. So she requested that there be two spots on the wheel, and then she gets to spin the wheel, and wins the death nuts. Yep. She did got. You stop it on the death nuts. No. It automatically I, did. Boom. There is. No, I have no control over where it lands. Did the death nuts taste good? I like spicy um, food, but I don't thing. know if the, I can do the those. The first one was brutally nasty. Yeah, 39, baby. The second one was actually good. had a sweet to That's it. That's what you guys kept really, saying, really that good. it was sweet. But uh, it was still spicy. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I mean... Did it hurt coming out the no, next day? No. I, will, I, I did get a, a pretty wicked stomach cramp. Oh, about I bet you one did. in the morning. Um, but, I mean, overall, when, when I see the reactions on YouTube... I'm oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. This These is people so are over overdoing it. Now, yeah. it, it was hot. Don't are get you getting wrong. a free T-shirt? I, I don't. I can't find it on the website anymore. Because before it said if you submitted your video, of you doing it? Yeah. And tagged them. Did you tag them? Yeah. Yeah, I would send them an email and be like, "Hey, look, I spent twenty bucks on these nuts. I want my T-shirt." Because you know, I survived the death nut challenge. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fair. I, I think it's completely fair. But I will say this. I mean, from. I expected more out of the 15, 13, 15 million yeah. field. You know, at that point, your mouth is already on fuego. So, but that's I the, think they but should that's have the crazy you start thing, with that one. The, the crazy thing about it is, I literally have, have ate potato chips. That were spicier? That hit me harder and quicker. Now, don't get me wrong, it was hot. Oh, I know it's hot. But it was a, gra to me, it was more of a gradual. And like the thing that got... Uh, like Ryan, the thing that got him was the hiccups. Oh, he when you get the hiccups, hiccups when he put that's that first brutal. one in his Because now you're hiccuping all that heat. Oh, yeah. No. Kent was doing great until Kent. he decided he wanted to do three, four, oh, five. Oh, yeah. How badly did Kent hurt after that? Oh, we, we did an emergency stop on the way home. Nuh-uh. Oh, yeah. He, he hopped the curb. We went we went freaking fast and furious. Like Un a Hobbs un and Nash. Uncle Hot Pipes there had to get it all out. <laughs> nah, that's horrible. The milkshake was, was delicious. Oh, I bet you it's the best milkshake you ever had. <laughs> it didn't cut the heat. No, it didn't. Like the milk did. But well, the milk has more fat in it probably than the milkshake. But that's what that's what me and Kent was talking about it later on. That's what got him was all the dairy that you're consuming oh, yeah. to, to cut the heat. So what we should have done, and I can't remember who it was that put it in the chat, is uh, raw sugar. What's up, brother? <laughs> What's up, brother? That's what everybody keeps saying. He He'll shaved say it a everybody. few times. Hey, guys. Come on in here. Hey. How are y'all doing? Hey, this man used random to do mall the employee. I used to do the hats. Oh, yeah, random mall employee. Somebody earlier was like, hey, y'all need to grab a random mall employee and interview them. They were like, random mall employee? I don't have time for an interview, though. I do have to go with But you do have Chick-fil-A. I do have Chick-fil-A. What's that shirt you got there? It's a Post Malone shirt. Oh, nice. What it is sure Post is. Malone? Posty coat. That's awesome. I like that. You guys have a great day. Have a good, good afternoon, bro. man. <laughs> Bye, people. See people asking you shall receive. Random mall employee. Mall employee. No need to have that a, we need to have, I need to get a little sign made. Says, All right, so let's see. 16 of you, 17 of you haven't hit that like button. So when you're watching the live stream, you can turn your phone this way. <laughs> vertical. Hit the X. Hit the, X, hit hit like. the like button. Hit live the uh, live chat button and turn it back sideways, <laughs> and you're golden. <laughs> Look at that. It's helping. There's 44 out of 61. Come oh. on. Oh, we lost one. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> through the screen. Yeah, no kidding, man. So we went to Waffle House this morning because my like daughter loves the cheesy eggs and a waffle. And hash browns now. And toast with jelly. She has definitely broadened her horizons. Hey, Jose. And, uh... So it used to just be eggs and waffles. Now it's everything that you can get at Waffle House. She even drinks coffee. But have you seen... Ooh, Wendigo. That'd be a good one, too. Have you seen the uh, the latest and greatest Bojangle biscuits? No. Put me in the cheese. Get out. I don't eat biscuits, man. I'm like... Really? Yeah. Does it have chicken on it, too? I don't. I think I don't know. I just saw try our new pimento cheese biscuits. So I, I don't know. I'm just like, whatever happened? Just normal, normal food. food. Look at that. 47 likes. Do I have to give the tutorial one more time? <laughs> Turn your phone horizontal. <laughs> X. Thumbs up. 
Uh oh. Uh -oh. What is that called? Live chat and then horizontal again. She's like a little acrobat. Go She's up here like flipping over. She do a parkour in the mall food court. Hardcore parkour. Hey, when the Smoothie King opens, I'll get you a smoothie, okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You gonna get which one? You gonna get the Hulk smoothie? No, she gets the little angel get smoothie her the Hulk one. with blueberries. Or the gladiator. She's not allowed to have any of that stuff. Uh, that collar, sinister, never should hit clearance. They can't, can't have it. Why? Why do you think Nightcrawler's gonna hit clearance? <laughs> Kent Pool does know though. Kent Pool is a phenom when it comes to this stuff. So, D Spark says someone gave her coffee. Do what? D Spark says someone gave her coffee. I give her coffee every morning when we have coffee. Kent wants a smoothie. What do you want, Kent? You want Gladiator with, with peanut hole. butter? That's what I get. Chocolate Gladiator with peanut butter and some uh, cold brew. It's delicious. Could, it's also low carb. Could get the Activator. Hey, how's the... Uh, Coming. It's first, it's first week, so. So tell me what's in your monster mash. Potatoes? No, no potatoes. Just rice. No. Rice. So, because I looked up monster mash recipes and, and I saw two of them that didn't have potatoes and then I saw like a ton of them that had potatoes. Right. And they just put the rice and the potatoes and the ground beef and everything in their pressure cooker and cook it all together and then mix it up. I do it separate. I do the rice separately and then I'll mix the rice in. Later. Ground beef. Uh, bison is what I use this use week. Bison. Doing turkey this week. Okay. Mixing it up. And broccoli. then a vegetable. Broccoli. You Doing mix that. it up together when you eat it's it? It's on the side, but I take the chicken broth and put it over all of it. And that helps you beef up? It's just good. No pun intended. It's just good. You it is. I mean, no, I don't want to arm Look, muscle. I had blood draw. Today? Yeah, I got a hole. For what? I do it. Testing you? They do it every day? No, I mean, every weekend? <laughs> no, it's like every three months. Oh, okay. <laughs> every day. Well, I didn't know. I mean, hell, you never know. <laughs> Eat a sandwich. All right, so. But yeah, you can do that. Then you can also do, uh, you can do a version that has eggs in it. Yeah? Ooh, like a, a so, nice so runny be, egg on top? No, no, no. Mm, that you, would be you, good. You do the uh, like scrambled eggs or yeah. egg whites. Yeah. Mix the meat. That sounds pretty good. Uh, should you make Ooh, a Let's see a new, a new type. type of video. Ooh. X Men on Clarence. Uh, ooh, X Men on Clarence. I've never seen X Men on Clarence. I know Clarence one either. thing Target has all their Incredible 2 stuff on Clarence. Oh, yeah, so. the Incredible stuff is on Clarence because they have bad on Clarence. Too much stuff. What time is it? Uh, we got about three minutes. Ooh, look at that. You're in. Oh, we're neck 51. and neck. One out of 59 people. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, look, there's Jetta. Uh, hey, what's up, Jetta? Uh, local comic book store. We just show us Marvel Legends. Look around. Ooh, that's sister. not a bad idea. I wish, I mean, I'm very thankful that we have Battlegrounds, but parts of me wish that we also had, you know, and we got the other place, but it's more comics. Uh, yeah. What do you call it? The, the Greek place. Got the Greek name. Epicos. Epicos. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Epicos. Uh, they screwed me on a comic I ordered. When it came in, they realized that it was worth more than I was buying it for, and they tried to charge me more for it. What? I told them to jump in the lake. <laughs> Feet first or head first? I didn't care. I was not happy about it. There's Tim. Because it was still available. At, they bought it at regular price. Why can't I buy it at regular price? Who to the coast? You going to the beach today, Jetta? I think he's going to Columbia, South Carolina. Maybe. I've got a buddy that lives in Columbia, South Carolina. Uh, six inch Jurassic Park. What are you talking about, Chris? Amberline? Beta Ray. Beta Ray, that line came out like four weeks ago around but here. But you know, but what's crazy though is it's like, it, it still amazes me how certain people, depending on what part of the country you live in, you'll yeah. see waves hit. Yeah. And then it might be, you know as well as I did, it might be two months before we see something. Well, that is true because remember when I found the, um, 
Captain America with a hammer. Worthy cap, yeah. I found it before we yeah, saw it anywhere else. It hit my Walmart, and I don't know if that's just because it's somebody that works there ordered it early or what, but, but it's I didn't never see, hit any of the other Walmart. I've never seen it anywhere else. And then you get one for nine dollars. Yeah, ridiculous. Well, it, well, someone posted on, on Facebook out of uh, sixty-one yesterday. They were getting the Lewis and, and Ghost two pack from Target for like eight forty-seven. What? That's not fair. <laughs> I love that. Scalper I'm still looking for the Nenendroid. Uh I checked my Target yesterday. They were still fifty bucks. Okay. Yeah. So they have the My Hero Academia ones, and Bearded Pop Hunter, he's found them, or had somebody find them for like $14. And I'm like, uh, my Target doesn't even carry them. His Target does, and they don't even have people that collect that stuff no, out they there. Had, they had two there yesterday. Both yep. of them were $59.99. Because I was going to surprise you today if they had one. I was Man, if like, they had hey, one, I'd have been here. like jumping for joy. I'm going to wait until I find them for $14. I have my son looking, too, and... Chicago, so. Ooh. 54 out of 58. Oh my that's, god, this is great. That's a good average. It is. In game Blu ray. So at Target, they have one that comes with the book, and at Best Buy, they have the steel books. Do you do the steel books? I've never done a steel book. My uncle does the steel books. He's got a ton of them. But he. I don't know why he does the steel books because 90% of the movies that he has, he does the digital upload anyway. And I just got it. On, I just got the digital. I mean, I'm like, because I go to McKay's like every Saturday. And Kim told me, she goes, We really seriously need to figure out what you're going to do with all these movies. Does she not say we need to figure out what we're going to do with all these pops? No, because they're in my room. Hey, are you open yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm getting my daughter a smoothie. <laughs> Uh, do you need the UPC yes, I do. Can you away? send me that on Instagram, please? That would be awesome, and Boom. I'll find one locally. And if I find one, I'll hook you up as well. We'll, we'll say bye, uh, guys. It's after ten. Stores is opening. We're gonna go get this, uh, the little one a smoothie. So, yeah, the little one needs a smoothie. We're gonna More end the stream. Have a good afternoon and good luck hunting today. All right, hasta la vista. See you, everybody.